Well, I made it to Valley Forge. I'm here at the George Washington headquarters. I'm not, I'm not really here for anything Valley Forge-ish. I'm actually here to go up a hiking trail up to Mount Misery. There's a, what's it called, Colonial Springs bottling plant up there. There's some old stone ruins that are up this way. So I'm gonna try and check it out. So see, I got stung. My last video, I got stung. I was at the Black Rock Tunnel and I stopped, got back to my truck, I had like a little picnic. I sat down on the ground and got nailed in my hand. I'll try to show that to you then. It's affecting how I hold the camera sometimes. So anyway. But uh, yeah, it should be a cool place up here to check out. Of course, there's a lot of groups here. Those are both some different tour groups here. Because that is George Washington's headquarters there from the battle here, Revolutionary War. But we're not really here for that, so we're going to keep on hiking and make our way up to Mount Misery, where these ruins are supposed to be. And we're continuing on this little dirt road up to the highway. We're going to cross the highway up here in a bit. But back there's where we just come from. Back there is Washington headquarters. All right, I'm going to quick explain what I just had to do. So you had to cross the road right up there and turn right, come down the road here. And then you come up this dirt road. This is actually the Horseshoe Trail. I think it's called Owen Lane. But that's how you get to the trail that takes you up to the top of the mountain here. This is actually the Horseshoe Trail here. It's a little confusing back there. Well, if you don't know what you're doing, it could be. Yeah, there's the uh, yellow blaze for the horseshoe trail. Got some nice old homes back there. I'd love to live in there, restore that home. Oh well. Just keep following the horseshoe trail. So here's our split in the trail. The Horseshoe Trail continues that way, but there's the Colonial Springs Trail it takes you this way. I was just reading a blog, or a blog, I guess you call it, about this, and they took this way. They said it just hooks back up with the Horseshoe Trail too. So I think I think I'm gonna go this way because they said they both go to the same those ruins. So I think this will take. I should say uh, I'm aware of these ruins. Um, they've been on several links that have been sent to me but recently my friend John sent me a link to the you know five you know like ten places in PA that have cool ruins because he tagged several other people in that post some other youtubers I'm friends with you know Jeff Grant JP videos and uh, Journey with Jay so they all got that too and they're all say when we're we gonna go and JP's like we're gonna go now but anyway I'm up here now so I'm gonna head up here see what it's like I didn't invite any of them along with me today but it's a uh, Quite a drive for them to come down here to Philly. This is kind of a last minute thing for me too. I didn't I just kinda of planned this yesterday to come down here. So anyway, I'm gonna quit yapping and keep on hiking. You know if you can see it, that's where I, I mentioned in the last video I got stung. At least maybe I did mention that, but it's all kind of stiff and swollen up there. So it affects it affects how I hold the camera sometimes with my other hand, so yeah well. Looks like there's another old home up there that they're restoring, someone is. Some work vans, looks like the windows are out. But man, I would love to do that someday. Buy a really old house, on some really cool old property and just, you know, take the time to restore it back to the way it used to be. And then live in it too. Yeah, there's another old stone building there. Oh, maybe someday, huh? Yeah, 
is. Just hooked up with the horseshoe trail again. Yeah, this looks like the ruins of an old spring house, maybe. And just up there are the ruins. Cool. A few things right in there too. Yeah, so here it is. There's quite a few people in there already, but we'll walk around and take a look. I think they've done some restoration work on it a little bit too. Yeah, it actually looks like this section right here was restored. You can kind of see the white. They've capped it with some white cement and that wood is new compared to the wood around the other windows. The stone work just looks just a little bit different. So I'm thinking this is a restored section because I saw pictures from last year even where they had like that orange safety fence around the whole thing. And you weren't allowed to go in. So I was hoping that wasn't the case this time. But uh, we'll go in a little bit, explore around on the inside. There's a number of people in there already, but looks like there's a little room back in there with the spring where the spring comes out of and everything. So this goes back to the 1800s at least and I think in the early 1900s it was bought by Charles Hires the guy that the root beer company guy so it has some cool history to it I couldn't find an exact like starting date for it but 1800s sometime probably early 1800s who knows it might have even have earlier history than that but I couldn't really find anything all right so we'll go inside in a moment here All right, so let's go take a walk into the inside of this thing. You're fine, it's like a bathing suit. It really is. It's shorts anyway. Hey. hey. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Cosplayers <laughs> taking shots in the horror place. You'll just be in YouTube, that's all. <laughs> oh, I don't care. What's your YouTube handle? Uh, the Wandering Woodsman. <laughs> Wandering Woodsman? I'm yeah. going to look you up. Alright. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go in there. <laughs> oh, it actually goes back further than I thought it would. That's where the spring comes out, I guess. I should fill my water bottles with this stuff. So I met some other people here at the ruins. What's this guy? What was your name? Hey, I'm Mac. Yeah, he was telling me all kinds of stuff around here. But these people are doing a photo shoot, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, because I was, I was talking with him for a while, and I kept watching her outfits get, you know, stranger and stranger. But it's pretty cool looking, actually. Because they're doing a photo shoot here, and this is it kind of matches because it's kind of a spooky here. So. 
Anyway, you never know what you're gonna find when you go on an adventure, so. <laughs> never know what to find in the woods. <laughs> she, she is she is safe though. She's a <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head on out of here. Pretty cool place though. You guys can say bye one last time. <laughs> Are you with them too? I am. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. We're all cosplayer dorks. Oh, really? Pictures. Okay. <laughs> Horror. Yeah. She's Hannibal. Okay. We're going to strap her to the hand truck. Okay. All right. I'll get out of here then. <laughs> All right, we'll say goodbye to that place. That was a uh, that was pretty cool though. You never know, you never know what you'll meet on these adventures. I met a, uh, I guess she was just that 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 lady, that woman was supposed to be Hannibal Lecter. So they're there for a photo shoot. So that was interesting. All right, I'm gonna head on back to the truck. So this will probably be it for this video. Um, I think I'm gonna try to head to one more place today, Evansburg State Park. I think I still have enough time today. So, never been to that place, but I'm gonna do some hiking there, I think. Alright, hopefully I will see you there then. Cool place to check out, it's real easy to get to here at Valley Forge, so come check it out.